Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have an SEA Orion Solar Inverter and you can see on this one on the screen it's coming up with relay failure and the red fault lights on. Now if your SEA Orion Inverter is coming up with a relay failure like this it means there's a fault with the inter internal relay inside the inverter and so while it's showing that the inverter is not working at all and uh, what it most likely means is that you're going to actually need to get the inverter either repaired under warranty or repaired out of warranty or replaced altogether because it's not working at the moment at all. Now the first thing, if you ever have, do have a problem with the solar power system to do is to attempt a shutdown of the system and a reboot and see if that clears the, the uh, error message. Now with things like relay failures, it can potentially uh, sort out on a re sort the issue out on a reboot but it's most likely going to start happening again and again and again but anyway what we're going to do is try and follow the shutdown procedure try and reboot the system and see how we go so you should have a shutdown procedure somewhere like this uh, on your system which is something like this turn off the solar supply main switch well, that's located in your switchboard or the inverter AC isolator in this case we've got an inverter AC isolator here so we just throw that off then turn off the PV ray DC isolator located at the inverter that's over this side here so I just throw that off. I'll wait for the system to shut down completely, which didn't take long. It's shut down already. And now we'll attempt to reboot the system. Now the, shut, the startup procedure is nowhere near as important as a shutdown procedure. Just as long as you turn everything back on, it's all good. So we'll just throw the DC on and we'll throw the AC back on and we'll let the system attempt to restart again. So like I said, sometimes we do see after a reboot these systems uh, start up again, start functioning but usually it doesn't end up being a long term fix. It might, might work for half an hour or so or five minutes or something like that and then it'll come up with relay failure again. But look we'll give it a go and see, see how we go this time. Now the SEA Orion inverters have been around for quite a few years. They did come stand with a five year warranty. As far as I'm aware, most of the ones which are installed in Australia would be outside the five year warranty now. If they're not, you can certainly try and get in contact with the manufacturer, which is SEA, Solar Energy Australia, and uh, see about a warranty claim. But it's highly likely that it's outside the warranty period at this, uh, at this stage. So we're at uh, 10 seconds in the countdown to go now. I'll see if we can clear the relay failure message or not. Oh, no. It's straight away come back up with a relay failure. So in this case, with this one, it's out of warranty. Look, you, a relay failure like this is something which could be fixed outside of warranty. So you could get an electronics person uh, to repair the system. But in all reality, you're probably going to be looking at $500 or so to get it repaired. And you're still left with an inverter with no warranty and it's getting old. It's, it's just, uh, it, it could go have a problem with something else that very next week and you're up for more money. We highly recommend trying to get the system replaced with the inverter replaced with a brand new one, which has got it backed to by a full factory manufacturer warranty. So uh, as we saw, this one's still coming up with relay failure after attempting to reboot. It is definitely an internal fault which will need to be rectified, either by repairing the inverter or replacing it. In this case, we're going to be replacing it. So look, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland you need help with anything like this, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're more than happy to help. Even if you're somewhere else around the country and you do require a replacement inverter, we can actually ship one out to you and uh, you can get someone local to install it for you. So that's, thanks for watching this video, I hope it's been helpful for you.